Hey guys, let's discuss about execution contest in JavaScript. Understanding the execution contest will help you to understand the most important concepts like this keyword scope and closure very comfortably. And also it helps you to understand how JavaScript works behind the scenes when it runs the code. Let's start. I will be using JavaScript Visualizer application to explain your execution contest visually effective. I will be leaving the URL of this application in the description of the video. Left side we have JavaScript code editor and we don't have a single line of JavaScript code written. We can run it by clicking the step button. As soon as we run it, we can see that a execution contest called global execution contest is created even though we didn't have a single line of JavaScript code. And in JavaScript, there are two kind of execution contests. The first one is global execution contest and the second one is function execution contest. And each execution contest in JavaScript will have two pages, creation page and execution page. And now we are in the creation page of global execution contest. And in the creation page of global execution contest, we can see that two things got created. First one is window global object and the second one is this global variable. And I am sure you might have already know that what is window object. We often use document, fetch API, local storage, history. So all these objects are part of the window object. So just press F12. So in the console, let us type window. And here you can see that in the window object, when you expand it, we have the alert method, document, object, fetch API. So all these are part of the window object. And here we can see the another thing, this global variable. And in the global execution contest, it is equal to the window object. And this value will be changes depends on where we use it and depends on the execution contest. This and here this is equal to window object. And you can confirm it by doing the strict comparison also. So we can see that value true. So now let us define a variable and let's see how the memory will be allocated and how things will happen. Var message equal to I say hello. So we know that in the creation page of global execution contest window object and this global variable will be created. And after that we can see that memory is allocated to the variable message and the variable message is initialized with value undefined. So in the creation page, each variable will be assigned with a value undefined. Click on step again. So now we moved from creation page to execution page and in the execution page, the values will be assigned to the variables. Now we can see that hello value is assigned to the variable message. So now let us define a function and understand the function execution contest also. So just type function greet and here I just type console.log let us print message and now just restart click on step we know the creation page and now you can see that in the creation page of global execution contest itself memory is allocated to the greet function so we just define the greet function and we are not yet called it so that's the reason we will not have a execution contest created for greet function so now just click on step and we know that in the execution contest of global execution contest value hello will be assigned to the message and after that it will just finish it now let us call the greet function here greet and now let's see how it works so restart click on step so whenever it comes here like whenever it encounters the greet function call then it will create a function execution contest there you go so now it is created a execution contest that is function execution contest here greet is the function name so greet execution contest is created and we are in the creation page and here you can see that we are not passing any arguments to the greet function that's why you can see arguments length equal to zero and we have the this keyword is created for the execution contest that this variable will be created in each execution contest click on step again and now we move to the execution page now let's press F12 because whenever it executes the console log statement, it should print the hello in the console. Click on step, step. Now here you can see that hello is printed to the console and after that it will come out of the greet function. So now the cursor will come out of the greet function. Once it come out of the greet function, we can see that greet execution contest is removed. We don't have the function execution contest anymore. 
because the function execution is completed and then the function and the variable whatever we declare inside the function and everything will be garbage that's how the garbage collection works now let's define another variable here let's say where message let's say this time hi clear it step greet execution context is created and we have defined the message variable inside the greet function so that's the reason you can see that memory is allocated to the message variable and this message variable is initialized with the value undefined then click on step and then it will finish it now we can see that message value high right once it prints the console log statement it will complete i am sure you know the difference between the parameter and argument so whatever we pass in the definition of the function that is called parameter so if we pass something here that is called parameter but if we pass at the time of the function call that is called argument so here if you pass some value then that is called argument so now let's remove the parameter just pass the argument click on step and go to the execution page of grid function and here you can see that arguments length one so because we are passing the argument one now let us define a function inside the grid function so function let's say display country and here i'm going to say console.log here i will define the country so i don't pass any country now here just to restart it and here we can see that only greet function is added to the global execution context and this display country is not added because it is available inside the greet function so this is not available at the global that's the reason only greet function is added to the memory and click on step step here we can see that in the creation page of greet execution context display country function is added to the memory but the memory allocation for variables of display country function will be done once the display country's execution context is created which means once we call the display country function in the code so once the greet call execution is completed then greet execution context will be removed so that we know right already and we can see that closure scope because we have the display country inside the greet so it will create the closure and this we'll discuss later and now we have only global execution context now let's make a call to display country function just go to the execution page of greet function context in the execution page of greet execution context we are calling the display country here so whenever it finds the display country call and that time it will create a display country execution context there you go now you can see that display country execution context is created inside the greet execution context and this keyword is referred to the window and in the creation page we have the country variable and the value will be undefined we already know it and now let's open the console press f12 so now whenever we step in it will go inside the display country function and it will display the india and then what will happen first of all in the execution page the value india will be assigned to the country so that should happen first display country call will be invoked now you can see that india is displayed and now it will finish the display country function call so as soon as it finish the display country function call we can see that display country execution context is removed because display country execution is completed right and now we have only greet execution context and now it will come out of this greet function and whenever it come out of the greet function means whenever it completes the execution of greet function then greet execution context also will be removed and then we have the closure scope so because we have a display country inside the greet function it will create a closure scope and now after that if you step in that also will be removed by now we know that the function execution context will be removed as soon as the function execution is completed but the global execution context will always remains there and it is available to the all the functions and the code that we written in the javascript i hope you understand the execution context let us have a quick overview in javascript we have a two execution contexts the first one is global execution context and another one is function execution context as soon as we run the javascript code the global execution context will be created and and it will create two things in the creation page the window object and global variable 
and all the variables that we declared globally will be added to the memory and by default they will be assigned with value undefined and whenever it comes to the execution page the actual value will be assigned to the variables all the functions that we defined globally will be added to the memory in the creation page of global execution contest and whenever you make a call to the function the function execution contest will be created and whatever the variables that we define inside the function and those variables will be added to the memory in the creation page of function execution contest so once the function execution is completed then the function execution contest will be removed and the nested functions will create a closer execution contest this is about the execution contest if you find my expression is good then please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel thank you for watching